All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here on a Saturday, and I thought we'd just do a quick unboxing here, guys. This is a product I picked up off Amazon, and so let's go ahead and check it out. It's uh, It didn't have a, I don't think they were an authorized dealer, so this one's not going to have probably a factory warranty. I think it had the two-year um, Amazon Shurion warranty, which I've never had to use. Knock on wood. So let's check this out. Okay. So, there you guys go. There's what we have in the box. That is the suggested retail price. That's actually different even now on the Seiko website. So, I think this is pretty much a standard Seiko box they've been using right now. So, move everything out of the way here. Uh, nice, clean, simple Seiko box. And, again, on the strap. So, here we go. If you guys are not familiar with that part number, that is for one of the solar tunas. So 2018 was a big year for a bunch of different uh, tuna models from Seiko. And uh, the solar ones were really cool. The, uh, I liked them. Uh, big fan of them. And I think the digital ones were pretty neat also, but never, um, never jumped on that bandwagon with so many good G-Shocks available in the world out there. So... Go ahead and pull it off the pad. There's your hang tag. Looks like everything's still covered up as far as plastic goes. So move everything out of the way. Over here in the box, it looks like I do have down there in the bottom, it looks like the paperwork is down there. Come on. So, so yeah, there's the paperwork. Not sure if there's going to be a warranty card in there. I do not see one. I don't know. So maybe this is the new one. This is the way the warrant. Oh, I registered it today. So that's possibly the warranty paperwork there. Oh, here it is. Come on, Dunlap. Yeah, there's a the card. Okay, so everything good. So that's awesome. Has the warranty paperwork. So, so this is the uh, reference number on this is the SNE498. The solar, one of the solar tunas. So let's check that bezel out. Feels good. Nice clean action on there. And looks like it lines up pretty good. Maybe a dab off at the six o'clock down there at the bottom. But other than that, everything looks pretty nice. Very clean. These have a, I don't know what kind of, this is a, like a polymer resin um, case or the shroud on these ones. So makes it a lot lighter weight than the um, ceramic or the stainless steel models, but good looking watch. I think these are 47 millimeter. This is just gonna be a quick unboxing of the watch. I don't even know when I'm gonna post this video, but uh, let's go ahead and put this on the wrist. You know, I've never owned a tuna or put on a tuna case watch to be honest with you. So this will be interesting because everyone says because of the roundness, they fit real well. Um, even in a big, like a 47 millimeter case. And I don't think that looks, to be honest with you, too bad on my 7 inch wrist. It is round. The watch is very round, so it wears well. Because of that case, it's it's nice and lightweight. Running that solar, uh, I think it's like a V157 movement. I'll go into that more in the full review. So, newest Seiko in the stable, guys. Good looking. 2018, they made a bunch of different models of this. Um... I think they did a patty, uh, definitely did that, and they've done some different colorways and stuff in this solar model. So, oh, one of the things I didn't check out, let's get this up here. One of the most important things on a quartz watch is seeing how that second hand hits, and man, this appears to be pretty spot on. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. But then they start, they can start getting a little off as they go around, but looks pretty darn good to me. It looks pretty darn good. So we'll do a full review of this one in a couple of weeks. Definitely, guys. Gotta love a Seiko tuna. This, of course, harkens back to the original golden tunas of the uh, 1980s. 600 meter quartz models back then. Really cool watches. So. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning into the uh, unboxing of the Seiko Solar Tuna, this being the gold and black model. All right, guys. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. If you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.